To balance this equation, we have KO2 plus CO2. This is potassium superoxide plus carbon dioxide. So this is a bit challenging. Let's count the atoms up first and then balance the equation. We have one potassium atom. Oxygens, we have two. Make sure you count the two here as well. So we have a total of four, one carbon atom. In the products here, we have two potassium atoms. Oxygens, three plus these two here, five and then just the one carbon. I usually leave the oxygen atoms to last. Let's start with the potassium here. We could put a two in front of our KO2. One times two, that would give us two. Those would be balanced. Let's update the oxygen atoms though. So we have our two times two, that's four, plus these two right here, we have six. So it's kind of problematic now. We have this six and a five. What I probably would do is I'd multiply this by two to give me an even number. So if I put a two here, two times two is four. That changes the potassium atoms. Two times one for the carbons, that would give us two carbons. But let's update the oxygen atoms. Now we have two times three, that's six plus the two. That'll give us eight, and that's an even number, so that's helpful. We might as well just fix the potassium atoms and then look at the oxygens. If I change this number here to a four, now I'd have the one times four, so I'd have four potassium atoms. Those are balanced. I do need to update the oxygens. So I have four times two is eight plus two here. So now I have 10. Let's fix the carbons. We're leaving the oxygens till last. So the carbons, we'll put a two here, one times two. That'll give us two of those. Let's update the oxygens. Four times two is eight plus two times two is four. That gives us 12. But that's really not a problem because we have this oxygen by itself. We can change this to balance the oxygens and it won't change the potassiums or carbons. So think of it this way. We have our two times three, the six. So six plus some number equals 12 because we're trying to get these balanced here. Six times six is 12. We put a three here. This three times two is six. We get 12. We're done. This equation is balanced. So the key here, count the oxygen atoms accurately. Leave them to last when you're balancing, and it's helpful if you have an odd number to try to get that to an even number. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KO2 plus CO2. Thanks for watching.